There's the final movement from Mozart's Clarinet Concerto with Sabina Meyer and the Berlin Philharmonic. And before that, we heard Mike Duncan. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we heard the original Canadian tenors singing Eyes the Bye, a Newfoundland song with the Canadian uh, Tenors Orchestra. How about that? Yeah. How <laughs> about that? It's uh, 13 degrees downtown, 933. We're going up to a high of 14 today. Showers apparently ending at some point today. Then a mix of sun and cloud. I'm Mike Duncan here with Gene Stillwell. Group, 20, group of 27 Chamber Orchestra with Eric Paveco, their music director, is performing a concert called The Young at Heart this Friday, April 25th at 8 p.m. at Bloor Street United Church. Eric joins us this morning to talk about it. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Gene. So the theme... Young at heart. Yes. Tell me about why that is, well, there's other a than yourself. Well, <laughs> actually, this is kind of the, the thing. The, the soloists <laughs> and some of the, the stars of the program are all young at heart. As you know, uh, Nadina Mackie Jackson, bassoon player, and Guy Few, trumpet player, mm -hmm. they are definitely young at heart in a wonderful, wonderful way. Um, and so there are soloists. They're performing two of the our commissioned works, Michael Occupinti's uh, new works from our latest CD, and I'm um, also superstars, or I should say stars of this show, will be um, students from the Regent Park School of Music and Dixon Hall Music School. Oh, nice, Terrific. nice. Yeah, this okay. is a collaboration we've been, we've been doing for a couple of years now. And they're, this Friday we'll have 13 or 14 kids on stage. How many? They play side by side with us, and they're going to be performing a whole early Mozart symphony. That's also young at heart, an early mm -hmm. Mozart sure, symphony. Sure, sure. And these kids are so enthusiastic. They're so dedicated. And what we're doing for this concert is uh, for them to share a vignette or some musical memory that has affected them in some way. So each one of them, plus uh, about five or six G27 uh, members and Adina and Guy are all sharing 30-second to a minute vignettes between the pieces. Oh, of, that's wonderful. Of uh -huh. what music means to them. And it, the stories are funny. They're... They're inspiring, incredibly inspiring. There's not going to be a dry t uh, eye in the house. It's, it's oh, great. nice. Yeah. Now, um, you're going to have actor Van Vanessa Avruskin? Is that yeah, Avruskin, yeah. Avruskin, pardon me. Yeah, well, it's funny because Van Vanessa is a good friend of mine, and we've been working on it, and she's actually written herself out of the performance, but she's directing everything. She's, oh, okay. Her and I put together this whole idea of bringing these musical memories out, mm -hmm. and so she's putting it all together, which is really wonderful. She'll oh. be there anyway. And we should talk about, too, that, that the... Um, um, group of 27 is made up of Canadian Opera Company yep. musicians mm. and Toronto Symphony musicians. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, these are some uh, great, uh, great musicians in our city. Yeah, this is, well, that's the idea of the whole group that I started with, to bring these fantastic musicians together and, and, and let them perform in a, in a setting that they usually don't get to perform in, namely full chamber orchestra. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, now, your programs are always so um, eclectic and fun. <laughs> um, do you... Do you collaborate and do you have a meeting or do you come up with all this yourself? I mostly come up with it myself, but I do bounce it off uh, certain people in the orchestra here and there. Um, but I love, I love uh, just putting, I wouldn't say wacky programs together, but things that I think go well together and that might not seem on paper uh, all in some way connected, but they do. When, we, when you hear the concert, you'll see, oh, I get it. This theme relates to this and and mm -hmm. to that, so. and plus that makes it a lot more interesting than going and seeing. Okay, you're doing an overture and then a symphony, and uh, you know the same old, same old programming. Yeah, that you yeah exactly. And I think I think uh, the audience appreciates that, and as well the musicians because they sure they they do that normally in their jobs in in wonderful ways. There's mm -hmm. there's definitely oh, yeah. a place yeah. for those kind of concerts, but they get to some try something new and, and do some new repertoire that they don't get to perform. Sure, and uh, Bl Bloor Street United Church is that a um, a nice acoustic in there for you? It is. It's, it's, uh, we usually play at Trinity St. Paul's. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is just down the street from there, yeah. and it wasn't, unfortunately, available um, this weekend for us. But, uh, yeah, it's just down the road there, and it's a similar, it's, it's a different acoustic, but it's that, you know, those annex churches, those big mm -hmm. churches, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and uh, where people are kind of surrounding us, which is nice. Oh, terrific. Yeah. And, and something else that you do, that which I think is really wonderful, is that it's pay what you can. Yes, oh, no, yes. Tell us about that. Well, we, we, we started this, our last concert, and, and we thought, you know, we want as many people to experience this as possible. Nice. And, and so anyone can come. You can pay whatever you want. Of course, there's suggested prices, but it's... Pay what you want. Pay what you want. So anyone can come for any price they want. So like one dollar, ten, or even five hundred. Yeah, if you want to pay five hundred, sure. go for hey, it. Why I, think, I think that's a marvelous idea. <laughs> <laughs> I 
liked it. <laughs> but it must be, it must, how do you, like, hey, you're taking these kids uh, from the Regent Park School of Music. And Dixon Hall Music and School. And Dixon Hall Music yes. School. Um, this must be, I don't, it's an exciting time for them, but it must also be very intimidating. How do you, how do you make them, you know, well, just chill kids, have yeah, some fun with this? You know, that's a great point. That's a great point because um, they, they are or were nervous at the beginning yes. because here we are and we get, bring in mentors every week from G27 to work with them. Oh, and I work with them as well throughout, mm-hmm. uh, you know, leading up to the concert. And I have a lot of fun with these kids. They're, they're very enthusiastic. A lot of them are very shy. But I, I pull them out of, their, out of their shells because, uh, you know, I ask them questions. I get them involved to say, okay, Michelle, what's this? You know, and, and they start talking and they start talking amongst themselves. And they get so into the music mm-hmm. that it's inspiring. I'm o- often surprised. I'm like, really? You guys love it that much? And they do. And it's, it's yeah. really inspiring for us and all, as well. The other G27 musicians. It must be great for them as well because, I mean, as students, they probably don't get a chance to play in a larger ensemble right. like this either. It's right. usually individual lessons or mm-hmm. what have you. Exactly. And and even if they're, you know, 12 or 13 together, um, when you add 30 players of a professional orchestra to yeah. that, and at first you see it in their first rehearsal with the whole, the whole <laughs> orchestra, they're a bit tim- intimidated because they don't want to sit beside. I'll, I'll always make one of the students a concertmaster. Ah. Like, really? Me? No, 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 no. <laughs> and then I ask them to tune the orchestra and do everything. Right. Right. And, of course, the G27 members are so encouraging. They love it. And within five minutes, they're completely into it, and the kids are just just going full tilt. Mm-hmm. That's great. And I imagine it. it would also inspire them to really listen even better because the yeah. bar is so high yeah. in mm. terms of pitch. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's it's surprising and and wonderfully surprising how quickly they they lock in yes. to yeah. those professional players. Yeah. And it's it's something that there's some there's a support musically, mm-hmm. you know, and and like you said intonation wise, support where they can just mm, right there mm-hmm. on that bed of support. What is your greatest challenge in this concert, Eric? Um I think just just doing all the different styles together. We've got the jazz infused Michael Occupinti and there's some really interesting rhythms and different things and to get that 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 swing from the players and then immediately go to the kids with the Mozart and then end with a wonderful, beautiful Elgar serenade. If, mm-hmm. if people know that, that's just a scrumptious piece. Yeah. And so to, to bring all those moods together within one concert. And you sort of set it up, don't you, being I've, the conductor? I yeah. love doing that, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Well, we want to wish you all the best. You it sounds like you. a really exciting evening. And what you're doing is something really, really quite wonderful Thank for those you. kids. Thanks for having me. Thank you. We've been talking with Eric Paitko about a group, tw- group of 27 Chamber Orchestra. They have a concert this Friday at 8 p.m. at, th- at Bloor Street United Church, which is, which is at 300 Bloor Street West. It's a pay what you can. And uh, if you want to find out more about it, which you certainly will, you want to get tickets, go to groupof27.com. Thank you.